Hey there, fellow zombie slayers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Anomaly Death Cult, Episode 10, Night of the Living Dead. I also think it would be wise, uh, maybe now, to do a void provocation. We only have one more basic void left to do. In fact, uh, I think we're allowed to attune now. So, um, should we do an attunement? Or a void provocation. I'll let you uh, vote on that. So the attunement um, is a way for you to attract new and more dangerous entities. So it's like void provocation for advanced. Whereas the regular void provocation might bring in lower level stuff that we've already seen uh which we could hypothetically harvest for power and energy and all that or um kill or whatever harvest shards it's it's pretty good for shard harvesting too um because you it's helpful to have a lot of, a lot of shards for your various usages uh jazz is getting the jade for us let me do one last scan to make sure there's no more jade. There's silver there. I'm going to start marking these down just so that I know where the strategic resources are. So silver. There's a ancient danger. There's not a lot of mountains here. So yeah. Uh, oh, there's uh, jade right here. Perfect. I can use the search. True. Jade. Yep. Good call. Uh, I probably don't want my outside wall being made of jade, however. And we just finished Draw Animals, so have you guys choose next basic research. We're really getting through all the basics. I didn't, uh, I meant to poll about the Provocate and the Tune. I don't know what happened to that poll. I'll redo it. Uh, we, so attunement would start bringing the more dangerous entities. It would not, I don't believe, bring that last remaining basic one. Trying to put some skull spikes in. Dress up the place. All right, psychophagy, bliss lobotomy. Got it. Allies under threat. We have allies? Mm, doubt. Uh, so, someone named Burke joins. Staggering legacy, great memory, likes to mess with animals. Also the same ideology as Crackhead named Polo Burke. A uh, biomutation lance, which is like a, a mutation, like you can, um, it's sort of like a shock lance or insane lance, but it it, uh, it mutates them instead and it has four charges. I, yeah, so. Um, it can be useful if you're getting raided to be able to mutate one of the enemies into a monster that will turn on his own ally or their own allies. And it does it for uh, charges and silver or a masterwork sniper rifle. Do we? And it's um, it's also worth mentioning, if we're trying to make uh, the occult progress, this is three raids that we're calling in for this reward, and we have to guard four tribes people for 19 hours, for three raids in 19 hours. The reason I mention this is it's going to be a lot of raiders. It's going to be like 
uh, what, what is that? About 30 raiders in 19 hours? It's like a super bad idea. Uh, do we accept... Do we help the tribals for... Uh, uh, do we protect the tribals? Do we... Yeah, the rewards are pretty blah for the, the effort, for sure. If the raids were fewer or more spaced out, that would be very different. But that's just not the case. There, we're getting the skull spikes in. Also, it is like a help thing, which just feels weird. Oh, Thrumbo. I don't... Oh, man, I almost got the fly. I don't... I don't think we really even have the, the manpower to kill Thrumbo, either. Alright, one more minute to vote that pole. Very impressive dining room. Uh, medical emergency. What is going on? Oh, hypothermic. Why is it? Oh, just because it's cold out. Uh, okay. Don't get all worked up. Oh. Keep you warm. Apparently you've been freezing and I haven't been noticing. We're also... Jazz is trying to kill you, it seems, because he's a freaking moron bringing one wood in at a time. Dear Lord. Wait, what? You literally picked up one wood. I'm going to kill you myself. What is going on, Jazz? Why are you... Is this like a... Are you protesting Lord's life? How... I, I swear to God, he walked over to a stack of 40, picked up a single one to, to, to construct the fire, and I had to, like, stop him from doing that. I'm not joking. It was... It was... Malicious compliance with the please build fire, but also a... Ah, fire will get built. Just maybe post-mortem. <laughs> like, for real. That was ridiculous. All right, well, you're defrosted now. He's only got 9.4% left to convert. Like, we wouldn't want him to die at this point. That would be a waste. That would be ridiculous. All right, so uh, the ideology room. Um, I have not forgotten. Uh, we're You guys have voted against the suicide squad showing up. So forget that. Um... 6.6. 6. So, we're building the Skull Spikes, and then we'll get the Ideology Room. At some point, it might be wise for us to plant Tinctoria. We have a lot of food right now, so that's why I'm not farming, because Avalka's time is better used elsewhere. But plant Tinctoria just so that we can dye the green jade some better color. Meaning, you know, red, probably. Our ideology color. Okay, back to the pool that I meant to run and never did. Do we Void Provoke or Attune? So Provoke is going to be easier entities, possibly the last remaining one that I've yet to seen. And Attune allows us to start getting advanced ones, which ramps up the difficulty mm, somewhat considerably.
I have a better idea. Uh, yeah, let's just go all marble. Well, yeah, I'll just go all sandstone. It's the weakest of the stone we've got. We're running out of corpses. Oh, pigskin, oh, pigskin. Where out thou, oh, pigskins? The morbid tiles cost uh, way, way more. So it's four or 20. And then on in terms of time of construction, it's way longer as well. So it, it would make the goal of building that um, facility unaffordable very quickly. Which is why I'm not doing that. What it will do, however, is build a wall out here. I think eventually the plan would be to surround the entire base with like an extra limestone wall. Um, but this at least keeps the jade safe because the jade is a little bit more expensive. Oh, again, you were so close, friend. You were, you were, you were one chat away from joining us. And the thought of it broke your brain, you weak little child, you. That's the second time he's catatonic in like a week. Really is a bureaucrat. Okay, uh, you guys want to do one last provoke? I know I called that poll with a difference of one vote, but that's what we'll do. Uh... Let's put a door here so this doesn't become some sort of weird trap. Don't loop it. So once the ideology room is all set, I will do a provoke. Uh, you guys, maybe do some hunting? I don't know if just the two of them can safely take down a mega sloth. If I had three, that would be a little bit different, but I accidentally made the third go berserk. But Ibex are fine. And while you're out here, you're still hungry? Have some bunny. And some turkey. Yep, great Paul's happened again. All right. The game really wants to turn the, the screws on our our people. Young bigger needs resources. <laughs> uh, 12 year old, huh? 12, 12 year old who uh, and a defoliator ship. Oh, fancy. We've got, oh, it's Scythers. At least we can shoot at them, but they move very fast. And I don't think... A Valka moves too slowly to fight Scythers. Uh, Crackhead and Jazz could fight Scythers, but with a little bit of difficulty. What to do with Opki? Organs, ghoul, uh, enslave, colonist. Uh, not colonist. I don't want children. We're definitely... Children should not be ever apart. And we have an installation about the arch form... Nerve Spiker. Nice.
Second phase G is done. Um, we also have access to summon flesh beasts and draw shamblers. So I'm gonna start to do the draw shamblers and then I'll update the poll uh, as soon as this one's done. One more minute on that. I'm gonna redo the farm. I think adding walkways is going to cut down on filth. Any special stats on the relic? Uh, all relics are legendary. So, yes, I guess. Jazz, maybe I can get you back to mining. So we're out of steel again. Okay, organs. Got it. Sixty percent chance on arrest. Sixty-eight if I go with Jazz. Hey, Moxie and fish pickles. Uh, you can eat what's left once I'm done cutting in. So. This isn't a medical bed just yet. All right, be gentle. Poor little Opke has precious little, oh, don't shoot him, Jazz. Oh my God, don't shoot anything because you're right next to the thrumbo. Ah, uh, so you bit off a leg? It's really too bad when you bite off a leg, you don't get credit for like the food that you've consumed. Uh, Traveler harmed, yeah, I don't know if harmed, it's a bit of a understatement. The ghouls went for the uh, duh. What? Um. Okay, the kid got up and Jazz did obliterated its torso. Hey, uh, it's feast time. Sorry, Moxie, you get first crack, I guess. Dumb kid should not have gotten up. Oh, you didn't go for the head first? Uh, you didn't leave much for fish pickles. Greedy girl. Jazz, uh, you are, okay, good. You're hauling the jade. It's more jade than we had need for. So we're getting in this lovely ideology room and we could even do like a jade lectern and jade unary statue. Ooh, that's a big old statue, but all right. Even jade pews. I don't know which way the pews are facing. It's hard to tell right now. Well, sure, let's make it fancy. Our death cult needs to be um, fancy, I guess. So Tony, you are very close to converting as well. And as is Lord X, when Lord X is done with his catatonic breakdown. Both are going to be, or actually, Lordix is going to be enslaved. Tony is going to be a colonist. Right. And then as soon as the ritual room is done, uh, we'll do a provocation. So I'm kind of eager to provoke sooner than that. And I don't, I can't imagine you guys are going to complain about me provoking earlier. So let's get that going uh, in just a second. It's 8 in the morning. Yeah, let's provoke. Is 
that is not we're gonna we're gonna be in a coma <laughs> uh, all right I did mention uh, that I would offer up the ability to vote on next research so we have bliss lobotomy sleep suppressor uh, chronophagy so chronophagy is um, stealing life force away de-aging yourself it won't get rid of um, age-related diseases so it wouldn't get rid of Avalka's already bad back, uh, but it would lower her age. Uh, summon Flesh Beast. Summon Shamblers. And that's what's available to me. So the um, Summon Flesh Beast and Shamblers doesn't, or draw Shamblers, I, whatever. It doesn't um, make them your allies, but it does fill the map tile. So if you're getting raided and you can like summon the Flesh Beast or Shamblers, uh, you can perhaps pit them against, you know, mechanoids, something like that. So there's ways to weaponize those things. And let's have you stay inside. Okay, the void has been provoked. A death pall. A death gray cloud has descended on the area. The cloud is made of microscopic self-powered archites that create some unknown superintelligence. Where they land on dead flesh, they will enter the body and reanimate it to create a twisted imitation of life. The dead will rise, burn, bury, destroy, or move corpses indoors to prevent them from resurrecting. I'm going to close this door. Cause, uh, yeah. Uh, so that offers the ability to get Dead Life Dust as a research project. So Dead Life Dust is, um, I'm going to include now into this poll. I know that you are voting for Chronophagy. But uh, Dead Life Dust is a device that you can wear on your back or shoot in mortar shells that real will reanimate corpses that will attack your enemies. Only your enemies. So it weaponizes corpses. So if you have a map tile full of corpses, um, you can mortar shell those corpses near and, and use them against like raiders or whatever. And at this point, we have discovered all of the basic anomalies meaning that uh, we now just have left to a tune for the advanced ones. So the way it works is that the game won't push you into the advanced uh, entities because they're they're much more challenging. So it gives you the option of doing that or not. And all of these um all of these zombies essentially that we're getting here uh, are shamblers technically. So I like wouldn't necessarily be against trying to capture them if possible. So I'm sending fish pickles out to go punch some some shamblers. Shamblers are kind of challenging to capture because things that don't feel pain don't get downed from pain, so you kind of have to like rip the legs off. Tony has converted. Okay. Uh Tony, you are going to be recruited. I don't know why chat voted for you to be recruited, but um they did. So, we'll recruit you. And if you're wondering, I'm pretty sure after Dead Life Dust, like after them resurrected, they just like stay dead. Um, they're dead for good, but I could be wrong. And if we're really quick, we can try to capture before they get back up. But it's um, a very small window. Yeah, hasn't been working so far, so I want to accelerate time and get inside. One way that we could weaponize this, hypothetically, would be to try to, like, kill animals around the Scythers and then wake up the Scythers and run away and let those animals resurrect and fight the Scythers. But Scythers are actually pretty good at killing animals, whereas... So it wouldn't be that effective. If there was like pikemen or something like that, it'd be a little different.
Oh, I guess we never hauled those Ibex. So they're shambling out there. I wonder what happens if we, um, pop the lid off of, uh, Major Mildew here. And you guys want Dead Life Dust. Okay. Maybe I'll vote for that as experimentation. Should we subject Mildew to the Dead Life Dust? I'm 99% sure that he'll just be hostile and we'll kill him. But, uh, why not? Why not, you know... For science. Well, you you can decide, but if it was up to me, I would science that oh, so hard. <laughs> oh, is this the wrong shrine? This is Unary? Oh, good. I'm glad I caught that. That isn't my, um... That isn't my ideology at all. <laughs> Building the wrong shrine. Oh, Lord, that would be bad. Embarrassing. All right, let's, let's pop this. Come on, he's not that far gone. Up, I say, up. Well, before you come back, I'm gonna eat you. Oh, Jazz, no, leave the raccoon for the fish pickle. Oh, rude. It's too bad that we can't choose to eat the raccoon really slowly, so it's just like constantly regenerating. It's like if you were stuck on a isolated island with Deadpool, you could just like nibble on his limbs. Be like, well, you know, you don't need them. <laughs> Technically. Food. Well, it's not much of an ideology room, but it's where it's going. Maybe it doesn't work on entities? I mean, it seems not to. He's definitely been sitting there for a long time. Also, he's kind of like an unde a dead undead. You know, there's the whole theory of like, you know, the dead rise, you kill them again, and then they're permanently dead, undead. And maybe because that's what happened to him, he's like dead enough. <laughs> Uh, or something. I'm not sure. All I know is he didn't come back. Let's go and attune. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna wait. Uh, I'm gonna have you guys decide. Should I attune now or after I get the silence? Because we have the information about two silence from Moxie that they're over here and they're only guarded by like one person. Um, and being a psychaster level two might help us in the capture of additional entities. That's that's why I have it up as a, a possibility. All right, that Paul is clearing, and the corpses are going to collapse on their own. That's what that tooltip said. I'll, I'll actually read it. Uh, the death Paul is lifting. Corpses reanimated will soon return to their natural state. Uh, I think there's a 
like one zombie left or shambler, whatever they're called. Uh, but I'm going to lift the restrictions now. It ain't so dangerous out there anymore. All right, looks like you guys want to go after. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for the side links. Uh, promptly. We have a quest, Sharp Rats. Seven hours, 21 Manhunter ranks are, uh, show up. And it's a book for mining and art and Plasteel. Do we accept the rats? Um, there is a possibility of me pitting the rats against the Scythers. Uh, so there's a way for us to have the rats kill the Scythers if you want. As just to, like I'm throwing it out there. As a way to like make the rats disappear more easily. Um, I don't think I don't think rats are much of a match against scythers, so it does mean that we're gonna have the scythers to then fight ourselves, but like the rats will soften them up, maybe. So I have you guys decide that. What happened here? Was there a fire? Must have been. There is 1.1 day there. So in order to soften up the Scythers, I think the best thing to do would be to go with someone that can run fast and throw a grenade on the Scythers and then start to run away to soften two of them up a lot. And then the rats will then show up, uh, what, seven hours later? Um, so yeah, we, yeah, definitely I, I can put that together. So that's what you want. Uh, let's update the priority. Build a temple, get the Psylink, and whoop, I link and kill rats, Scythers. So let's prep the Scyther trap first. So in order to do this, we need to remove access to the outdoors, except for one of them. So all of our external doors, save for, let's say, this one, which is closest to the Scythers, uh, are going to be walled up. And I have 24 hours to accept this. So, time to work quick. Because you can sort of control uh, Manhunters if you remove pathing to your colony. Uh, we also have deployed turret. I forgot the turret packs. So, like, worst case scenario, if we really get overrun, we can always do that. All right. So the only way in and out is this door. So if I forbid that door, there's no more path to get inside. Good. Um, Jazz and Crackhead. Between the two, Jazz is a better shot and is steadfast. Uh... So I'm going to grab, I'm going to say for everyone to go inside. Uh, I'm going to put a stack of wood here to wall this up when we have rats incoming. And Jazz is going to huck a grenade onto the Scythers and then run away as fast as he can. And as soon as he gets through the door, wall the door up. Uh, so that nothing can mess with us from the other side. I like it. It's a somewhat well-formed plan. A little dangerous, but, you know, that makes it spicy and spicy is fun it's the rat quest that is expiring um so i'm gonna accept it now because they come after seven hours so seven hours from now would be uh what is it 12 so actually jazz i'm gonna have you be busy for a second because i need to time this well So it's at 7 p.m. that they arrive. 
the rats. Because there's a, there's a lot of like careful timing here so that the rats and the scythers really duke it out because I don't want to have to fight both. So it's 4 p.m. Let's go for it. Rats will be here soon. I'm going to try to get both of these scythers by landing it there. And run. These scythers are moving at 4.7, I'm moving at 4.6. So the other thing I want to do is to not risk too much. I meant to have a Valka closest to the door. So that I can drop a turret pack and have them busy. So the one I damaged is pretty far behind. There's one that's hanging out behind. They should de-aggro, but I'm just here more or less for insurance. I can also have the ghouls ready. Now it looks like maybe we get inside. I'm going to have the ghouls ready um, to fight if they breach, but they should turn around here. Okay, they're not fighting to get inside, so let's put everyone inside. So far this has worked. I'm going to have the ghouls at this door, which is the most vulnerable door, but it looks like my plan is in action. The rats are going to show up. They're going to have no pathing to us. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to intentionally um, keep the door open he or here. Um, and the reason is the rats will congregate in this at this door. And then I'll wall the door up and the rats will go as one large group over to the scythers. Unless they spawn near the scythers. There's always that possibility. So they should be here now. There they are. So now they'll all converge on this door. I'll roll the door up and I'll send the 19 rats or 21 rats over to the scythers. Here we go. Rat swarm in three, two, one. So they no longer can path to me. So they go swarming the scythers. Like clockwork. Rats lost. Very badly. I definitely expected them to, but they probably soften these scythers up considerably so the scythers can't chase us at top speed. So this scyther is still pretty fast. This scyther is still pretty fast. This scyther is pretty slow. So there's two scythers that are uh, close to full speed, but not faster than Crackhead or Jazz. And then this scyther that is like really, really slow. Nice. Uh, I would say that that worked pretty well. Um... Now I'm going to break down those temporary walls and uh, hunt those scythers, you know, myself. I'm trying to think. Probably Revolver has higher armor pen of, of 18. Um, shotguns, LMG. So the problem with LMGs is like they're really, they, they miss like crazy. But shotguns are so close range, they're very sketchy to use. It'd be really nice if I could, like, land another uh, frag grenade, but I don't think the likelihood of me landing a frag grenade running around is going to be a thing that I can do uh, easily. And I don't have gunsmithing, so I'm sort of stuck with, like, frag grenades or molotovs. There's not really other alternatives other than, like, breach axing. I could also have um, my ghouls out there as support. In case things go wrong. Which is not necessarily a bad idea. Would a bolty help? I mean, a bolty would be ideal. I just don't own one. Uh, the pod. Uh, where did my reward land? Oh, there it is. Yep. 
Lordex, you're about to convert. Oh, you certainly went back up. That sucks. Can the defoliator kill the corpse tree? Probably. And we have a corrupted obelisk that just landed. So I will read that. Oh, come on. Oh, I got it. I killed the fly. Ha. That's been buzzing around me all, all night. I've just, it's been pissing me off bad. All right, uh, the Corrupted Obelisk. A large metallic pillar that emanates a putrid psychic energy. The pillar hums ominously and appears to be increasing in activity. It's not clear what will happen when it reaches its full capacity. You can send colonists to suppress the obelisk to prevent it from activating. You can also mark the obelisk for study to try to learn its purpose and perhaps make use of it. You can attack the obelisk to destroy it, but doing so may unleash unnatural and dangerous phenomena. Uh, it's also worth mentioning, this is an advanced entity, which means that we are going to be able to gain advanced research. So what advanced research should we do? There's advanced psychic rituals, which allows us to take shards to build beacons to increase our ritual success chance. There's ghoul enhancements, which allows us to power up our ghouls there's Serum Synthesis, which builds the Serum Lab, and the Void Sight Serum, which is a serum that you can drink to um, gain more insight into the into whatever the, this research, I guess. Uh, and then there's also Bio Bioferret Generator, which uh, takes the Bioferret you harvest and puts it into a generator. So those four. Up to you. I'll put two and a half minutes on the pole. Thank you for tuning in to Rimworld Anomaly Death Cult, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 17th and April 18th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow death cultists. <laughs>